the first all firm match of the season. And seven new faces. Berg, Henning Berg, will start the all firm match for the first time. Unlikely to be phased. He's been there and done it with Blackburn and Manchester United. Brazilian Emerson at the heart of midfield has settled very quickly to the task. Rangers fans thought they would miss Barry Ferguson. Certainly hasn't been missed so far. How will Liam Miller cope in this sort of atmosphere? He's answered every question that's been thrown at him so far. Timing is everything, and Rangers aren't happy at the recovery time they've been given after sweating it out in Athens on Wednesday. From touchdown to title showdown, a little more than 48 hours. Mind you, Celtic were in a similar situation in April after playing their UEFA Cup semi-final against Boa Vista. They came here and won. A stumble from a gap. Sutton clears. Watched all the way by Craig Moore. In goes Henrik Larsson. John Hartson waiting. Thompson as well, it's Alan Thompson! Saved by Stefan Klaas. Thompson could have scored the old from opening goal. It's a magnificent save from Stefan Klaas, but I tell you what, Alan McLeish will not be happy with his captain, Craig Moore. Hartson's flick. Petrov, good strike. We've got a lot behind this. It's a decent shot, Rob. Again, the sea Celtic haven't had too much of the ball, but whenever they go forward, they look dangerous. Are the lads are there? Petrov won the header. Off Neil Lennon. Miller stops it going behind. Kept in by Avalanza. The captain for Larson. That's great work from Mikel Arteta. Terrific anticipation and reading of the game, and strong enough to win it back from Larson. Kisnish really to Moles. Emerson! Deflected for a corner. That's the magnificent play from Rangers. From Arteta winning the ball to Emerson. Well, it would have been Alan Thompson to take the corner. He's off. Still in Petrov delivery. John Hartson flung himself at it. Failed to make contact. Chris Sutton plays it back in. Stillian Petrov at the back post. Toes slipped at the crucial moment. And Michael Ball was able to play it clear. That was a real chance for Celtic. And Petrov kept his feet. Varga. Petrov on side. Hartson shot. Arteta's free kick. No marking on Peter Lovenkrantz. And it could have been the opening goal at the other end. Rangers are looking for a corner kick. There's a deflection of some kind. I'm not sure who it comes off, but it's a good free kick from Ateta. Picks out Loving Kranz. Celtic haven't lost the first Old Firm match of the season since Martin O'Neill took charge. 6 2, 2 0, and then last season 3 all. All square so far as Hartson links with Larson. John Hartson scores! 18 seconds of the second half gone. His 50th Celtic goal, and it couldn't have come in more dramatic circumstances. It's a good build-up from Celtic, straight down the middle, but I'm not too sure if John Hartson needs this one. It takes a slight def deflection the way over, but he won't be too concerned. He comes off Kisnes I think it is. That's it. Stephen Claus going the wrong way to the end of Kisnes Cross is caught going the wrong way, can't do anything about that. And Hartson delighted the balls in the back of the net. Cross foiled Thompson and Hartson himself in the first half. Nearly 73 minutes gone. And Ibrox. Petrov's header. Larson leaves it back to Hartson. And Lennon takes it away from him. And Petrov turning away from ball. Good burst of pace from Petrov. It's spilled by Klaus, saved by Berg, as Larson tried to turn the ball into the Rangers' net. Ross plays it long, Sutton has it, that's terrific defending. 
Under pressure from both Moles and Ostenstadt. Larson looking for Petrov. In goes Kizlishvili. It breaks to Henrik Larson. Petrov has the chance to make it through. Still has it, still in Petrov. As Klaus pushed him out wide. The yeah, gut shot blocked. Good goalkeeping from Stefan Klaus. As Stylian Petrov looked over, a gilt-edged opportunity there. Liam Miller was setting himself for the shot. As Arvaladze nipped the ball away from him. Powerful header from Chris Sutton. Hartson looked as if he was being pulled by Michael Ball. Look at place from John Hartson. Quite happy to, to make sure he gets the shot. Good header from Chris Sutton again. Look at the distance on it. Inside the 90th minute at Ibrox. Two to be added. So I'm just adding them up. Yep, that's three minutes to go. <laughs> All the arithmetic never fails me. Henning Berg into the box again for Michael Ball. That came off the head of Varga and onto the top of the net. Magnus Hedman had come off his line and Stan Varga wasn't sure where that was heading. Hedman doesn't have a clue where this is going wrong, but now it's Stanislav Varga. They certainly got to break that time. It's a high ball in the middle. Rangers challenging again, just knocking it in there, hope they pick up something. Martin O'Neill cannot wait for that final whistle to blow. He knows how important this result might prove to be. Alec McLeish in the background there, arms folded. A look of resignation on his face. The Celtic fans ready for a party. It's almost over at Ibrox. Already Mike McCarry's had a look at his watch. Celtic have won the first full firm match of the season by a goal to nil. Celtic go top of the league. John Hartson's goal proves decisive. His first of the season, his 50th for Celtic, and it came just 18 seconds into the second half. And you can see in the reaction of the manager and the players how much this means. It's been a tough week for both Celtic and Rangers in the Champions League. It's Celtic who come out on top. Chris Sutton producing a standout performance in central defence alongside Stan Varga. Celtic minus their regular back three of last season, Mialbi, Baldi and Valharan. Did it show? Certainly not.